When you think of an antelope, you probably think about this. Or maybe this. But I definitely don't think about this. Today we are reviewing the High Key Antelope e-bike. It's a dual battery e-bike that is made for traveling up to 100 miles on one charge. Is it worthwhile? Check out our full review to find out more. All right, I've got a brand new e-bike here. I actually don't know a whole lot about this brand new e-bike, so I'm gonna unpack it, take it for a ride, and let you know exactly what my first impressions are. It's got some really unique features. It is an all-terrain e-bike, but it's also got two, kind of one, two batteries. Let's unpack this bad boy and take it for a spin. Check it out. Now, if you've watched this channel before, you realize with the Rad Rover 5, the very first e-bike I had, I tried lifting up by itself. This is a very heavy e-bike. It is 46 kilograms. It's like 90 something pounds. It's super heavy. So we're gonna open up this e-bike the way that you should open up an e-bike like this which is not by lifting it up straight. We'll take off some of the main pieces here first, and then we will open it up like so. I always recommend getting this little pair of cutters to help get out some of the main pieces here. This box, I have not even a research how to put this bike together. I'm gonna bet this is for the battery charger. And we have a winner. This looks very unique, very ununique. It even has the same user manual, manual as another bike that I just put together, which is a Snap Cycle e bike. It's actually right over there. No problem though. A lot of these have the same components, but let's check this bike out. Mm. Ready? There she is, Miss America. Right on the wrench. Got some pedals, obviously. Got the light. Another wrench. Camp. Ah, this is the first a bike pump. I don't know why more of them don't come with a bike pump. This one does. Cool. Swing. Rod. Washer, the wrench, and last but definitely not least, the instruction manual. This is the Antelope. Cool name. The story of Hakwai. We're an electric bicycle technology company. Before 2014, we were producing bicycles. After a lot of market research, we decided to increase the research and development of electric bikes. In order to 100% guarantee the safety of cyclists, in 2015, we carried out one year of testing. Put into market in 2016, the company's main business is OEM and ODM orders. Located in California, we expanded territory across the US, master design of the affordable e-bike and actively contributing to the next generation. Okay. Check this out. First thing I was gonna say is to take all this stuff out, huh? Let's do it. Oh, this actually comes with two battery chargers. Probably because it's got two batteries. That makes sense, right? Cool. Obviously be very careful when using clippers to take off uh, something from the tire. Really easily puncture it, obviously. You don't want to do that. Also be sure not to touch the disc brake if you possibly can. Oh, 
This is the first time this hasn't come with the e-bike, already on the e-bike, which is interesting. Not a big deal, but just a little bit different. Maybe it is. I'm just not reading it right. All right, now usually these tires, these wheels, have a spring that goes in here. And that's what it shows here, but I don't, I don't have a spring included. So I'm gonna see if this is correct. And uh, I'll troubleshoot a little bit with you and see if this works. This deck does come with a couple unique things like a bicycle pump. I don't know why my more don't come with a bicycle pump. I've seen you inflate your tires. But let's see if I can figure out this whole wheel shebang here. Let's put the quick, see this is a, it says quick release lever, but there is no quick release dealio, is there? Nice. Gotta be careful with these bikes. They fall over, scratch you up. Got a nice little. Let's put this on. We'll make sure the wheel is right. I'll reach out to support real quick. Okay, let's so rotate the stem to face straight ahead. I do like this tool that it comes with. It's a little bit of a, gives you a little more leverage. One thing about all these e-bikes I put together so they all seem to have one little unique quirk. This so far has been the only unique quirk on this one is getting that front tire on without the right perfect instructions, but it happens. Oops. All right, now here are the batteries. Just recording. Right, and you gotta wait for the charge. They are two different ones actually, which is kind of unique. This one's got, looks like a full charge. And this one. And it's in there, nice. Works out really well. Just this, obviously. Now on the test drive, I noticed something wasn't quite right. The wheel would move a little bit or be too tight. And so once again, I reached out to Heike support. They are super helpful. The instructions are incorrect, but if you finagle with it just right and put the spacer and the washer in the right order, you can get it to work. And once it got to work, it was perfect, but I just wish I knew that going into it and I've reached out to them to get them to update the manual and make sure that it is correct going forward. But not that big a deal if you know what you're doing. I just had never done it before. And once I was able to fix it, it worked just fine. Let's carry on with the review. All right, today I'm testing out the How Key Antelope. Funny name, Sirius E-Bike. It's got two batteries, a 90 mile range. Let's go check out this bad boy. Alrighty, whoo, a little bit high. Let's go take this for a spin.
Holy moly. Now, to be completely honest with you, when I picture antelope, I picture something, I don't know, kind of peaceful. This is the exact opposite. It is a crazy machine. But it's a lot of fun. Now, this antelope is about, let's see here. This antelope is $17.99. It's got a 500 watt Bafang motor in the back. But the key difference about this bike and most other e-bikes that we've tested, it has two, yes, you heard me right, two batteries. It's got one right here and one back here. Gives it a range of about 100 miles, give or take, obviously depending upon how fast you're going, how much pedal assist versus throttle you're using. And that is a lot of battery power. Now, this bike doesn't have to get up and go with some of the other e-bikes because it is heavier. It's considerably heavier. In fact, it's about 84 pounds. I just test tested the uh, Snap Cycle S1 and that was, uh, I don't know, about 60 pounds. 20 pounds does make a big difference. It also had a 750 watt motor. This only has a 500, but don't worry. If you get this and you have not tested out something that has some more power before, you won't even notice the difference. Let's just check out how fun this bad boy is. Woo! Yeah! Woohoo! Whoa! It does come standard with front and rear fenders. So you don't have to worry about getting super muddy. As I found out yesterday, you will still get muddy when you, um, Cows. Whoa, man, this is a bumpy road. And you can see the front fat tires. Man, my tires. <laughs> Holy moly. That's about the bumpiest road I've ever been on. Oh, man. Crazy. It does have a lot of get up and go. Now, some e-bikes, jeez, this road is awful. Some e-bikes. You know, will be very, very light when you start going, you know, even in a higher pedal assist. But you just simply touch this here and it just takes off and goes. It's a lot of fun. It's crazy road. This is like one of the last nice days here in Fort Collins before it gets to a high of like negative five degrees or something crazy, so a bunch of people are out in a boot. Let's see here. Oh, no bikes. Over here. Okay, then we'll do no bikes over here. Okay. Let's do this. Whoa. Careful, throttle assist there, pedal, throttle, whatever it's called. It's pretty cool. Now we're about to have some days where the high is like gonna be five degrees. Yes, the high. And that is no fun for anyone. So we will be hunkered down. Maybe we'll get a chance to edit some of these videos here in the future. Man, it's super lucky to live in such a place where you have so many different trails to go on. Now, I wouldn't probably recommend this for as much off-roading as some of the other e-bikes that I've tested. I mean, it has an incredible range. So this uh, 90 to 120 mile range is really pretty incredible, especially when you're looking at doing some light off-roading and it's a it's a lot of fun it is just a little bit of a excess when it comes to everything when you are going in some a little bit more uh, muddy or slippery conditions i always recommend turning down your pedal assist level Ooh. whoa 
This is handling this just fine and dandy. That's cool. Whoa, that's a lot of dirt. It is very muddy back in here. Whew, I'm glad I didn't decide to walk. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Whoa, all right. This is pretty sweet off-road. I see the back tire will spin out a little bit sometimes in these muddier conditions, which is kind of fun. Ugh. Whoa. This is probably the craziest whoa, I've ever been off-roading on any bike. Whoa. Um, not from the terrain, but just mud. I got some of my shoe. Sweet. That's pretty cool. And I got some shoelace undone here. Just gonna get to a dry spot. I can fix that real quick. Whoa. 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 Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. I got mud everywhere. Oh, man. Quick break while I tie my shoes. Look at these tires, they are caked on with mud. That's fun, let's keep going. Oh, they're just flying up mud like left and right, that's crazy. Whew. I'm actually gonna turn around because there is a horse pasture up here and I'm sure it's gonna be even muddier. Whew. Let's get out of this mud. Clean off these tires a little bit. Woo! <laughs> Man, I'm getting got. Now, a cool thing about these is that once they do get on some pavement, the mud should just fly off here. Whoa. Chris down. Ugh. 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 I think I ate mud somehow. No idea how that happened. Ugh. Whew. Whew. I think that is the most the end of the mud. Now dirt is gonna fly everywhere. Ooh, here we go. Ugh, a little wet. Well, thunders do help, but they do not help. But there is no coverage. Whoa, 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 man, that was fun. I'm not gonna get next to people because I'm gonna spray mud everywhere. Look at that mud. Oops, I got some in my gears. Got a little mud on the gears. Woo! That was fun. I thoroughly enjoyed that way more than I probably should have. Now this bike, I said, does weigh 84 pounds, so it doesn't, even though it can be unlocked to be a class three e-bike, I've got the throttle all down all the way, pedal assist all the way, highest level, and I'm going 21.3 miles an hour. Another cool little feature of this e-bike is the display. It does have a, something I have not seen on a display before which is the temperature. Right now it is 57 degrees here on a Sunday afternoon. It gives you, you know, stats about the distance, obviously, and how fast you're going now. But I like the temperature aspect, that's pretty cool. This is the muddiest I've ever gotten an e-bike. In a lot of ways, this does remind me a lot of the Hemiway e-bike. It's got a very similar frame and structure. The seat is adjustable, which is a huge important deal when you're talking about going off-roading or going anywhere at all. And, uh, you know, I thought this would be a fairly reasonable e-bike, but there's not much that's reasonable about it, especially when you have a bike that has two batteries. Now, him or uh, Heike says that the batteries are listed both together on here, so there's no way of knowing if one of them is uh, working and maybe the other one is not. 
It's not that big a deal. I've still got a full battery after going a couple miles here on this trip. Right, cool. Now, I did have a lot of problems putting this e-bike together. The instructions do say that it includes a quick skewer system, which it does not. It has an axle that you have to do in, and it's not impossible to figure out, but it was a lot more difficult than, excuse me, I thought that it should be to figure out. Not a deal killer by any stretch of the imagination, but something to be aware about. Just give yourself a little extra time to play with the front wheel and the axle. As you can tell, I've had a lot of fun riding this Heike Antelope. Funny name, serious e-bike. Handled everything I put it at it, really with ease. If you're looking for a great e-bike and you need a lot of range, then check this out. That's why I would probably look at this more than another e-bike is range. If you need a 100 plus mile range, check out this bad boy. Comes with this built-in rear rack, comes with the front light. Comes with everything you see here, obviously except my cell phone, but pretty good e-bike. Only problem was I had some problems with the front fender or front tire, but reach out to support and they were able to help me out. If you have any questions or comments, let us know below. We'll see you again real soon.